If you're not new to my channel, then you just know I love Shein. I've been shopping at Shein for a very long time. I've been doing hauls for years and years, more than five years, I feel like, uh, with you guys. Um, even this top, I actually didn't even do it on purpose, but this top is also from Shein. It's one of my favorites. It's very beachy. Um, at least I think of the beach when I, when I see this top and I take it with me on my family vacation. It's just one of my favorites. I don't even know if it's still available anymore, um, but love it. So some of this I actually haven't even opened yet to see. So it'll be like kind of a first impressions and I will link it all down below too. It is affiliate links. It's not sponsored by Shein, but they are affiliate links. So, <clears throat> but I never buy anything that I, you know, don't love myself. Like I buy these things for myself and then I share it with you. So there are actually a couple things for my daughter. The first thing is this dress. And at, I was immediately um, disappointed. It's because of these blue buttons. The buttons are just the wrong color. Um, sometimes the buttons with Shein can look cheap. And you know what? You kind of get what you pay for sometimes. Sometimes you hit really amazing items at Shein. Um, and this dress was just so cute. You're, you're gonna see a lot of dresses in this haul because I've been wanting to wear dresses, but like with my adidas sneakers right here is this dress it definitely looks different in person than it does on the website and actually your view of it here looks like the website but in person the flowers you can really see like the orange in the center um so that yeah so this is a better up close shot the buttons definitely cheapen it i do not like the buttons at all if i were to keep this dress i would have to replace them with something maybe like cream um but overall the dress is really nice i love the detail i love where it stops on my legs it's not too short it's a little bit longer in the back i know i'm not good at this like try on stuff but there is the back and it fits really well. I think this is a medium, I'm not sure what size I got, but it fits true to size. Here's the next dress and it's black. It looks really, really cute. You get the tie at the top of the shoulder and it has a lot of layers in this puppy. Like there's just so, I don't know, for some reason it just feels really fluffy. Fluffy, is that the right word? You can see the back has this stretch to it. And this is a medium, by the way. And I just wanted a good old plain black summer basic dress. And I feel like here's the black dress. I wanted to step back a little bit so you can kind of see the full look. And I've got my Adidas shoes on. This is really, if I could put my, my style together, it would definitely have a sporty flair to it. I definitely, this dress needs some, I don't know, steam or something. It's definitely very wrinkled and it's really full. There's a lot of extra material in this top layer, which is great because it is not see-through whatsoever. You do not need to wear a lining underneath it. It's not as flattering up here. I think they added a little bit too much material in the top as well, but maybe once I get the steam out and I get some of these wrinkles out, I think it will look a lot better. The length is really nice too. You can see just comes right to my knee. Here is the side shot. It is not um, shorter in the back, which is something that I, you know, really make sure that it's not shorter in the back. Um, the tie it wasn't that hard to tie it myself, but you may, you know, have someone help you tie it. So I'm actually wearing one of the items right now. I'll throw up a picture, but they are these like gray sweat pant shorts. I actually sized up. And the one thing I will say about Shein for me, for my body type is the bottoms are never true to size for me. Um, <clears throat> I'm typically a medium bottom but sometimes I do worry about the Shein bottoms, but definitely read the reviews. Look at, they give you the dimensions or the measurements, dimensions, they give you the measurements. So all of that information is there for you to determine, you know, what you want to get. So here are the shorts that I'm wearing during this video. I just switched out my top with a white top just so that you could see, you know, how well this pairs with just a plain tee. It even has pockets. It's really nice. I like the um, roll detail, but as you can see, 
Um, it's not very even. I'd probably have to like press this with an iron to get it to stay a little bit more, but it is so incredibly comfor comfortable. The material is thick. I didn't expect that, but I really like it. It's just a nice casual pair of shorts. I like the length too. Comes down to about my mid thigh and overall love this and recommend. Here are the next pair of shorts. Uh, have not tried these on, but they're so beautiful. Like the detail, the pocket detail is so chic. Um, sometimes you will find like loose thread everywhere and you gotta like peel it off kind of thing. The color of the string is perfect. They did a great job there. Just the overall look of these shorts, super, super pretty. The moment I slipped these shorts on, I knew I knew instantly I was obsessed. They are so amazing. I cannot believe these are on Shein. You can tell that I need to steam them or iron them. The pockets are lovely. They are shaped appropriately. I feel like it makes the back look nice, not too big, not too small. Um, so the placement of the pockets in the back are great. The the stretch here um, before you tie it is super, super great. You can see I just have it with a white tee again. Um, I will say that I am probably in that medium to large bucket on the bottom. So if you are small or you are just simply true to size of a small, medium, or large, then stick to your size. But if you feel like you're small, medium, maybe size up. Um, and if you're a medium, large, go to the large. I feel like these are larges and they are nice and relaxed. They're not gripping me too tightly, so it just fits super tailored, I guess, um, if you just get the right sizing, if that makes sense. But obsessed with these shorts so much, I'm gonna go back and see what other colors they have because that's how much I love these, so definitely a recommendation. Okay, here is a bathing suit. Uh, yellow. I knew I wanted a yellow bathing suit and every single one that I was shopping for was just sold out and I found this one. I sized up, which I don't know if that was the right move, so I might have to return this. Um, the back looks a little wi wide for my body, but I don't know um, if it's going to fit well or not, you know? Um, it's just plain yellow. It's kind of hard to show you guys stuff, you know, if I'm trying on. They give you these extra ties, but they're supposed to be like around your waist, which kind of surprised me because I didn't realize that it was like a separate connection. Okay, here we go in for another dress. This one I was really excited for too. So far the material, you know, the material sometimes is kind of like cheapy. Sometimes there's really gorgeous material and sometimes there's really cheapy material. But what I like about this for me is how light it is because it gets hot here in Texas. So far looking at it, it is really pretty. I love it just from looking at it. It has a really beautiful back. All right, here is this dress and of all of them, this was the one that when I saw it online, it was my favorite online and I was really hoping that it was gonna be my favorite on. It actually so far is my favorite on, but there are a couple of things I'm gonna point out to you guys. Actually, just one thing. I don't know why I said a couple things. For starters, um, it's actually not as see-through when it's on, so I feel, like if, I feel like if you were to wear just your normal flesh-colored undergarments, I think that it will be just fine. Um, so, um, don't think that this needs any sort of underlining. That's just my opinion. I also haven't stepped outside. Things can definitely look different when the sunlight is directly hitting you. So definitely when you're wearing something and you're not sure, go outside, have someone kind of like film you, maybe do a couple twirls and see, you know, if you can kind of see anything, um, just in, you know, just to give yourself a peace of mind before you go out in public. I really love the length of this dress. I love the ruffle. It's one of the shorter dresses that I've gotten so far, um, but it just makes it really fun and casual. I paired it with my black Converse here, and it has the same tie thing as the other black dress. So you get one strand from the back and then one from the front and then you have to tie the two together. So this one I would probably have 
like my daughter tie for me just to make sure I get the sizing right. And the one thing I wanted to point out is this right here. There's this like extra material. Um, now, if you are maybe bustier in the chest, this won't be a problem for you. Or maybe if you just have just different measurements for me, it won't be a problem. But there's definitely a little bit of some loose material here. And the back, I love the back. Now, I'm not wearing the appropriate like bra for this, but I love how it kind of dips down back here. Super, super pretty. And love this dress. I'm going to keep it. Um, this doesn't bother me so much that I'm not going to wear it. And maybe with, maybe, I don't know, maybe without a bra it'll fit, probably not. But overall, I do recommend this dress if something like this isn't going to bother you. Here is another dress. I told you it was a dress, a dress haul. I really want dresses this year, which is crazy because I usually don't wear them. I love them, but I just don't usually grab for them. This one has a black and white polka dot detail. There's no um, belt and I can see through it. So this is a very, this is a very, it doesn't look like it because it's black, but this is more see-through than that white one we just looked at. So. Another slam dunk for me. This dress is incredibly adorable. Um, I really, really love this. It's really light, so I know wearing it out in the Texas heat is going to feel so good. I, it's just, you can feel it right here around your waist, and you can feel, you know, just a slight weight from the ruffle detail, which oh, just makes it. It gives it that little added flair while also keeping you ultra casual and I feel like you could also definitely dress this dress up. Uh, I've got my Adidas back on. This is how I would wear it or with flip-flops or with black like strappy flat sandals is how I would do. It has surprised me and I feel like it is a it is it has a tie with the white one with the black. So I really just did not expect to love this as much as I do, but I definitely do. And it's also not as see-through as I thought it would be once it's on. Also go with something that's just like your tone colored undergarments and then I feel like you should be okay. But again, definitely do an outside check because things do look different on the inside than the outside. And if, you know, you wanna make sure you have, you know, yourself as put together as possible in terms of being able to see like undergarments definitely do an outside check. But overall, definitely recommend this dress and I got it in a size medium and I feel like it's true to size. It doesn't, um, it's not tight on my hips, which tends to be a lot of my problem. I find things to be tighter on my hips and on the, the booty area, but this just fits so nicely. Honestly, makes me look thinner than I am and this is a good one. This is a good one, y'all. Uh, let's get into a top. I got this really cute, girly ruffle. Ruffles the theme here, apparently. Ruffles and dresses. A cute little ruffle detail has, instead of polka dots, it actually has hearts. And really love it. There's even the ruffle detail at the neckline. Okay, where are we going? I got some t-shirts. I love t-shirts and this one just automatically stuck out to me because it has that 70s, 80s vibe, but it also says NASA, which I think is pretty cool. I love the stripe detail. I got a large and this just doesn't look like it to me. Um, so the, the way I think that they were styling this shirt is to definitely be more fitted instead of like a loose another favorite but i am very glad that i sized up on this one so again depending on how you want a specific um piece of clothing to fit you really depends on what size you're going to get i even could have gone another size up this is a large i typically wear a medium and this fits like a fitted medium so um yeah so i but the large is fitting me like a fitted medium so even if i went xl it would have been a little bit um, looser. So think about the sizing and how you want certain things to fit you. But overall, um, this fit is fine. And you can see I still have on the same jeans because I would typically wear um, shirts with, you know, like like a little bit of ripped up jeans and just my flat 
choose, but overall, I mean, just, ugh, I'm obsessed with this print. It's so beautiful. You've got that classic um, NASA text here, and then the colors just really give gives me like 70s and 80s vibe, and I love that it's black. They might have this also in a reverse in white. I'm not sure. I can't remember, but I will link it. I will link the options down below. Definitely recommend this one. Here's this shirt, which this shirt, I don't even know what size I got, but it is completely, it's very wide. So I forget, I think this is supposed to be a large, but I don't think that this, they did the sizing properly on this one or they sent me the wrong size. But it's hard to tell because there's no tag that tells me what's, what size they just sent me. Unless it's on the inside here. What does this say? It, it's a large, found the tag. It's a large, and I just feel like this looks more like, um, this is more of an XXL. I am very surprised by the way that this actually ended up fitting me. Um, it just, I'm really glad I went with the size that I did. You can see that I just knotted it in the front. It has a really nice t-shirt material. Sometimes Shein t-shirt materials are, I don't know what kind of blends that they put into the fabric, but this is just a really nice, standard tee. You can see I've got my ripped jeans and just some white um, plain tennis shoes. And overall, it's just really cute. I really love this fit. Again, I could wear this with jean shorts um, or even leggings too. Um, let's, let me pull this open so you can kind of see how long this flows. This is the other reason why I love this tee because um, even like this I like. I know it's not like the popular thing. Sometimes the popular thing is like, you know, or the trendy thing is to do that, but it's long enough that with leggings, oh my gosh, it'd be so, so cute. So very versatile t-shirt for me. All right, this next top I was very excited to get as well. I was looking for something definitely orangey, rusty colored. Um, because I think earth tone colors are so pretty. It has a really nice, like, th thicker spaghetti, it's not a spaghetti strap, but a thicker shoulder strap. It has, like, a peplum detail where it flares out a little bit. And I feel like these colors, like, rust colors or olive greens, forest greens, navies, those go really, really good with leopard for this top, I definitely wanted to add some styling so that you guys could kind of see the vision that I had behind it. It is really cute. I did not kind of expect to like it as much as I do now. Um, at, once I got all of the little buttons buttoned and I have it on, it's so pretty. It's coming across a little bit more, it's coming across brighter than it actually is. So it's a really nice toned down rust orange. It's definitely coming across way too bright on camera. Let me turn this down and see. But you can see I have the same jeans on. I added some of my high heels that have some, you know, tan colored in it just to keep myself neutral. And then I have my, you know, layered favorite layered choker necklace. And then I have the leopard print just so you can kind of see how well this color just goes with this at least i think that it does okay the last top for me and then the last couple of things are for my daughter uh this is just a red top i really like red and it's really beautiful look at that double layer on the sleeve absolutely gorgeous i feel like this comes in other colors as well and I decided that what I was trying to do is buy colors I don't have that much of in my closet. I color code, ev color code everything. So I have a lot of whites, blacks, blues, greens. And I wanted to really focus on reds, pinks, purples. Did I? No. As you saw, blues, whites, blacks <laughs> is what you just saw throughout most of this haul. But it's a really plain beautiful little blouse. So if you are going into an office, this is gorgeous. You could get yourself this in multiple colors. And I love, this is a big one. I love how there is a cut right here at the armpit. I feel like, especially if you work in hot places like Texas, this is key because if you have something that's 
kind of sleeveless, but it's coming right up here on your armpit, it's still gonna make you hot and make you sweat. So having that extra cut where there's no material at all right in here, that's, that's really important, I think. So anyway, there's that top. Now let's get into what I got for my daughter. I have no idea if she's gonna like any of this, so it could be a return. I literally bought this without asking her. I got her a little crop tie-dye top. You know, tie-dye is in right now, but I've always loved tie-dye, whether it's in, whether it's trendy or not. I mean, I'm still gonna continue to wear it um, myself even, even after it's in and out. Um, but I thought this was pretty cute, right? I don't know if she's gonna like it or not. And then for 4th of July, I saw these like bandana tops being kind of trendy. So I got this red one, but this one is very cheap. The material just looks super cheap. Of everything that I got, um, this one right here is kind of like, mm, I didn't pay that much for it. I think it was like six bucks. I mean, you get what you pay for sometimes. Um, but for 4th of July, I don't know. Maybe it's just, it's okay, you know? So. I'll see if she ends up liking this, but these little bandana tops are supposed to be really, really trendy right now. And the very last thing um, is this little knit. Here's the front. It's a little crop top. It's a small, but this looks like this looks like a medium to me. So you can see that. But the back, the back was really cool. It just cuts all the way down. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she'll like it or not. She's not here. She's at work, but there, there we have it. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I hope you all have a great, beautiful, peaceful day, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>